Hello everyone, my name is Yona and this is Postcards from Japan. Today I'd like to talk about why I love Japanese Hanafuda cards. So this is a more obscure video topic, but I've been playing Koi Koi a bunch and I've just recently rewatched Summer Wars, which is a great anime movie. I'll leave the link down below, I guess, but Koi Koi features and it just uses these Japanese playing cards that have little flowers on them and different animals. Here's one. And they're just A, really pretty and B, have just a really cool history. So back in the day in Japan, when was it exactly? Give me a second. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Hanafuda. In 1549, the Portuguese brought playing cards to Japan and they quickly spread throughout the country. That's actually why many playing cards in Japan are called karuta, which comes from the Portuguese word for cards, karta. And yeah, however, in 1603, when the Edo period began, the ports were closed again and gambling, especially with foreign playing cards, was quickly forbidden. The Japanese needed a way around this though because they weren't gonna stop gambling. So they invented these cards. I just put them up here, it's easier for you to see than me. Keep holding them there, exactly. They are super Japanese, that was the goal. Instead of having four suits of 12 cards each, these have 12 suits of four cards each, totaling to 48 cards. And each suit represents a different month and the month's flower, so it's traditional flowers found in Japan and then there's extra symbols like poetry ribbons, animals and then lights that pertain to Japanese mythology as well. So it's really very, very, very Japanese just a goal. Another interesting thing is that there's no numbers or points or anything discernible that could be connected to gambling, any way to gamble off of these, which is why they were created. However, the ban continued, these were soon also banned and they became less and less popular. Until in 1889, a little company by the name of Nintendo started producing these cards. I actually have a set that was made by Nintendo, they still produce them today, I just don't have it with me, but it looks like this and they have a special version with like Nintendo characters which looks like this. And yeah, it's really cool. I, what I love about these cards is A, this like, interesting history and B, how many different games you can play with them. It's like poker cards, which you can play, I don't know, millions of games, every country has their own. These cards have a variety of different ways you can uh, play them. Koi Koi is the most popular. I have a blog post where I explain Koi Koi down below. But yeah, it's about matching flower suits and things like that. The way the cards are split up is there's dirt cards, which are just regular flowers. Then there's ribbons, and the special types of ribbons are poetry ribbons and purple ribbons, which you can get extra points for. Then there's a whole bunch of animals, and then there's the five lights, which just have really cool, unique designs, which is why I love them. I haven't been playing it much lately, it's just I find the cards so pretty that I've been talking about them a lot and researching the history. Actually, here the shape. These are like cards I got at the 100 yen store, so they're like 80 cents. They're super cheap, but it's really easy to play with them. And I just love having a set I can just use on the go. So if you ever find yourself, come upon these in a game store, find yourself in Japan and want something new to play, I highly recommend, recommend you check out Hanafuda cards. So yeah, that's all I have time for today. I just wanted to share what I've been thinking about recently, which is these cards. If there's any other like obscure thing in Japan you'd like to learn more about, do leave a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, do subscribe. I make new videos every single week, sometimes even twice a week. So make sure you don't miss them. Until next time, bye.